All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can max qualify for the LiFi airdrop. Now, LiFi is the protocol that powers the jumper exchange. So in case you're confused as to why there's two different names, LiFi is the protocol underlying it, and jumper is the exchange or the bridge that we use to actually interact with it. Now, before I walk you through step-by-step step exactly what you need to do, and I've got a few tasks on this task list here that are kind of under the radar, let's talk about the opportunity. So for starters, how much money have they raised? They've got at least $17.5 million in capital raised, which is a pretty solid amount. Usually in the five to $10 million range is a nice sweet spot, but anything over $10 million, in my opinion, puts it in kind of another tier in terms of the priority. And the reason for that is the more funding they have, then potentially the more value the airdrop will actually have as well. Now this is not in the same realm as like a layer two like scroll, for example, raising $80 million, but it's still a solid amount of money and therefore a solid airdrop target. And then in terms of some metrics on the TVL or the throughput, usually these types of things would actually increase the value of a protocol because if it's got a lot of users, it's worth more. And over the past six months, over $3.65 billion has been moved through Jumper and over 2.5 million transactions. So all of that is definitely solid. And in my opinion, it puts Jumper or LiFi at the A tier airdrop level. It's not quite S level because it doesn't have you know, $100 million of funding, but it is a solid airdrop target. Now let's talk about how you can max qualify for it because it's not as simple as just pushing a few transactions through the bridge. So you can use Jumper for three main things. For starters, you can bridge assets between different Ethereum layer twos and also actually Solana. So that is the first use case, cross chain bridging. But you can actually also use Jumper to swap assets on the same chain. So for example, on the base chain, I could swap DGEN tokens into ETH or I could swap ETH into USDC. There's a lot of different options. Now, on top of that, you can do cross-chain swaps into different tokens. So I could swap from ETH to base and then go to Optimism and get USDT on the other end. So there's a lot of versatility there. And then they also have a gas refuel feature. And this is where you can send a cheap bridge transaction to get a small amount on another network to pay for gas on that network. So for example, with Polygon, they have a different gas token than Ethereum. And in some cases, if you run out of Matic on the Polygon network, you might need to refuel to it. So those are the three main things that you can do. Cross chain, same chain, and then gas or refuel. You can also actually buy crypto directly in the app here if you've integrated with one of these on-ramp options. But I don't think this actually gets you any points for the airdrop as far as I know. Now, in terms of the strategy to actually max qualify for a LiFi airdrop, there's actually a bunch of different targets that you have to hit every single month. So Jumper actually has an experience points program. You can see your XP if you click in the top right hand corner here and go to the Jumper profile. And at the end of every month, you get badges based on the different bridging and swaps that you've done on chain. And so these different badges come with experience points that help you rank up or level up for a Jumper airdrop. Now there's bonus stuff as well, but I'm gonna get to that in a minute. In terms of the actual monthly badges, there's four different ones. There's Chainer, Transactor, Bridger, and then Swapper. And if you wanna max qualify for this airdrop, you need to try and rank up your experience points on each of these four badges monthly. So if you see, as I scroll down here, I've been doing transactions on Jumper for a little while now, but this is just sort of my demo wallet for the channel. On one of my other wallets, I've got a much longer history. So Chainer, Transactor, Bridger, and Swapper. What are these four different badges and how can you get maximum experience points for each? Because as you can see, for the April badges on my profile here, I didn't get the same amount of experience points for each one of them. Now, I found this useful graphic here that was produced on Twitter by OX Winter X, and it's actually a useful visualization of how to actually do this. So these are the four different badges here. Now, in terms of Chainer, that is literally the number of different chains that you interact with. So last month, I got 30 experience points for that badge right there, and that is actually the max points that you can get in order to get it, you have to interact with at least 10 different chains. So these are the different options here. And as long as you send transactions from 10 of these different chains, then you will get that max XP for that badge. Now, if you send from fewer than 10, then you'll get less experience points. You'll still get the badge, but not as many. So that is point one. You wanna send transactions every month to and from as many of the chains on the list as possible, at least 10 plus if you wanna get those max points. And when it comes to cross-chain bridging, 
there's actually an additional level on top of this, which is that you could potentially hit multiple airdrops with the same transaction. So let's say now it's the month of May and I wanted to send some ETH from base to optimism. So I could put in how much ETH I wanna send and then Jumper is gonna give me a bunch of different options of where I can route this transaction through. So these are all different bridges that I could send my assets through. And as you can see, some of them already have tokens like across and hop, but some of them don't like Stargate, which is the layer zero protocol, for example. Now layer zero did announce that Snapshot One for their airdrop campaign was on May 1st, but that seems to apply that there will be multiple future rounds of a layer zero airdrop. And so I could route this transaction through Stargate. Now, sometimes different routes cost different amounts of money. This one wasn't technically actually the cheapest, but since it's a two for one airdrop qualified, in my opinion, that makes it potentially more worthwhile. So I'm gonna ship this transaction off and then I'll discuss the next category that we wanna to try to max qualify for. All right, the next category is Bridger. Now this is also related to cross chain transactions going between different networks, but instead of the number of different chains, this is now referring to the volume. So that transaction that I just did was about $70. And according to the experience points breakdown here, you need to have more volume in order to get more experience points. So last month with this wallet here in the bridger category, I got 18 XP. And if I go back over here, that means I bridged between $1,000 and $9,999. And obviously the more that you bridge, the more points that you get. And apparently to get some of the higher experience points levels, you need to be moving six figures through the bridge. So this is one of two categories where it definitely helps if you're a whale, if you have a lot of capital to commit to this, but two of the four categories actually don't require you to be a whale. And so overall, you can still actually do quite well for this airdrop campaign without having to have, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. So that's the breakdown here. I don't need to explain it anymore. Basically, the more volume that you do, the more experience points that you get at the end of the month. Then the next category is referring to transaction count. And this is actually accounting for all of the transactions that you do here on the exchange and the gas refuel feature. So the number of times that you bridge across chains or if you make swaps on the same chain, that counts as one transaction. And for April, I also got the max 50 XP for transactor by pushing at least 50 transactions through. Now, this sounds like a lot, but if you get in the habit of using Jumper as a DEX to just make regular swaps on the same chain, then 50 transactions in a month is actually quite reasonable. And so I regularly do this now. For example, I have a small amount of Stargate tokens in my wallet here, so I could swap them on the base network into ETH, and that will count as one transaction. And also, again, you get to choose the route. Some of these are tokenless. So if I route through the Odos DEX, then that also could potentially get me another airdrop as well. So these are great airdrop Legos. And actually, sometimes if you swap on tokenless L2s like ZK Sync or Scroll, for example, then you're also hitting transactions for those airdrops. And then the final category is swapper. And that is referring to the amount of volume that you swap on the same chain, not cross chain transactions. And again, this is kind of similar to the bridger category where the more volume that you move, the better off you'll be. And last month, I only got 10 experience points for that. I didn't move that much volume through the swaps, I guess. So those are the four experience points categories on this platform. And that's how you max qualify for each one of them. Now, I think a realistic target for for this is to get 30 XP from the chainer, to get 50 XP from the transactor badge, and then to target over 10,000 moved in the bridge and the swapper categories for 25 XP each. And that would be a total every month of 130 experience points if you get all of that. Obviously, if you can do more volume, that's even better. But if you get 130 experience points per month, then you'll be able to level up relatively quickly. Now, on top of that, there's some bonus stuff that you can do to max qualify for this potential airdrop. So for starters, they have a really fun feature where you can get a dynamic, customizable PFP from Merkle, and it's based on the amount of experience points you have on the jumper exchange. So you can go to Merkle, you can mint your NFT right here. I think it costs like a dollar. And then you collect little customizable things based on the number of experience points that you have and you can change the way that your character looks. So it's just an interactive fun feature for this. It reflects the amount of experience points that you get because the more that you have, then you unlock different types of attributes for your customizable NFT. And I wouldn't be surprised if when the airdrop actually comes through, there's some sort of 
bonus qualifier or multiplier for people that have actually minted this and interacted with it. Then on top of that, they occasionally have other additional bonus missions that you can find here. And so if I click on this one, it's gonna route me to Galaxy, for example. And here you need to complete all of the things on the list here. So bridge $50 to the mode chain and then LP $50 on Kim Exchange and do some social stuff. And then you can enter into a raffle to win $80,000 or a share of $80,000 in OP tokens. But also you get 20 bonus points for the jumper airdrop campaign for doing that. So when these additional missions pop up, you should definitely do them to help you get extra XP for doing that. And 20 XP is actually a lot. That's the difference, for example, between swapping $10,000 on jumper or over $125,000. So definitely come back periodically and check to see if there's any more of these bonus missions. Then on top of all of that, another thing that I've found is if you visit the jumper exchange page and the LiFi exchange page on DBank, you can follow them. So I recommend you do that. And then once you follow both of the exchanges on DBank, if you wait 30 days, you can get a badge for being an old friend of Jumper and an old friend of LiFi. And both of these badges are free to mint. All you have to do is follow the page and then wait 30 days, come back and make sure that you grab that badge. So those are all of the concrete things that I am personally aware of right now that you can do to max qualify for this airdrop. I do still think that there is time Obviously, LiFi has been around for a while and the Jumper Exchange has been around for a while, but they just launched their overhauled experience points profile page here. They just launched their PFP. And so I feel like we're not actually on the cusp of the airdrop. I think there is still time to rank up. Also, since this can't be influenced by referral codes, it's not influencer friendly and it doesn't really favor whales. You can get some extra experience points per month if you move massive amounts of volume, but the difference isn't huge. It's not sort of a linear difference in the amount of XP you get for being a whale. And yeah, when you combine all of that with the fact that they have solid funding and solid metrics and actually is a useful product, like I personally use this all the time. And even after the token drops, I will probably continue to use it because it's just super, super convenient. So yeah, that's how you qualify for the jumper airdrop. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.